Hello and welcome to the Parkers. Oh man. Uh, tonight's topic was actually uh, suggested by uh, our own evil queen uh, Hexes. Uh, he uh, wants to know why, like, why do uh, bad, bad, like, good parents? Okay, why good parents have like? awful children you know like naughty and like very like mean children and the bad children uh, i mean the bad parents you know ones that are abusive or something uh they 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 have good children you know very nice kind of children it's 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 kind of weird for me as well you know because sometimes there's always like that one trait and it kind of goes along somehow where like some good parents have really naughty children and some bad parents have you know nice and very uh, nice and kind-hearted children as I would say <laughs> I mean like I wouldn't say uh, that uh, that, that you know, family always goes like this one single uh, way to actually, you know, it, this is not some kind of stereotypes that, that, that I would just like call people, you know, and, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a bit embarrassed to say this, but still, you know, even though it's true somehow you know but still there must be like some kind of like a, like a like a theory behind it why it's like that why good parents have bad children and the other way around i think it's because you know like when when good children i i mean <laughs> sorry good parents uh they always say to their children, don't do this, don't do that, Me, uh, implying that, you know, like, okay, you don't, you, you cannot do all this bad stuff, uh, because why, why do you, why you can't do this? When, when, a, when a child is, uh, you know, uh, told that you cannot uh, do something, you know, of course, they want to do it, they would... <laughs> They'll just like go straight away and would do it just because they, they, they just, you know, they wonder why, uh, you know, they cannot do this awful stuff that their parents says, so, whatever, you know, so so they become curi uh, curious, you know, they, they build up this curiosity and actually do this stuff, you know, okay, you cannot go, uh, you cannot bully other uh, other kids the go <laughs> so, somehow it kind of works like that you know because what wh when kids you know they, they are like really curious little children who just wants to know more about things you know they will always like look listen smell sense the first thing that they will find you know which is of course their parents saying not to do all this bad stuff so they question why can't they do it so they do it when they do it they know why they can't do it but sometimes <laughs> they keep on doing it sometimes it's, it's, it's weird you know it's like you know you know the consequences right you know, you know what's gonna happen so why did you do it <laughs> So it's 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 that curious curiosity that just builds up inside these kids, which makes them want to do this stuff. You know, I'm I'm kind of neutral in this kind of way. You know, it's like when my parents says, you know, you can't do this, you can't do that. I'll just think straight away and then just like refer to like other children. Maybe they've done this stuff, and then yeah, okay. Uh, I I think I know why. <laughs> why I can't do this stuff because when I look at other kids who've done this stuff based on my point of view uh, yeah it is bad I can't I, I don't want to do this let's look on the other way you know why do bad parents 
have good children you know i wouldn't say good i would say kind hearted i think it's because you know like there's like too much bad stuff happening and you know the kid doesn't know what to do you know they, this child is like being abused or something or not being cared properly uh, from uh, his or her parents so this this child would just look at the good side of things so so he becomes good and all that stuff and and I think it's 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 pretty obvious when if you just like try to you know think of it you know why good parents have bad children is because good parents they say that you know you can't do this stuff and maybe you know these good parents they they they, they pamper uh, their children too much until you know they become spoiled little brats <laughs> and on the other side all those good children, uh, children that come from bad parents or bad household or something, you know, they 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 become good children or something. You know, they try to make their life uh, even better. You know, in a way, it's always that instinct of uh, you know uh, living, supporting life you know trying to survive trying to you know getting entertained or something uh for now at least uh oh hello uh <laughs> and uh here's uh uh Nacessa leva she's uh one of the supporters uh that supports this uh podcast by you know coming in listening to uh the podcast uh, by the way, uh, can you hear me? Uh, can you hear me, Ness? I'm just checking if uh, my uh, uh, my internet connection is uh, good or not. You know, if if you can hear me, just type in or something in the chat. And uh, back to the topic that we were talking about. Uh, is that, uh, it's pretty obvious if, if you could think of it you know for a second i think you can come up with a simple theory and i think you would just accept it because why because i because you could be right <laughs> because of that so yeah ah uh, man oh yeah i need to check still i have to check this thing <laughs> So I guess that's uh, that's that for uh, Hex's uh, uh, question: Why good parents uh, have bad children and bad parents have good children? Mm-hmm. I think we can just like move on to the next topic or something. You know? I, I I've always you know rather uh, been a bit uncomfortable sometimes you know when. I want to do, you know, like recording for podcast. I find it so hard to actually find the time to actually like uh, be myself, to actually just like focusing on the podcast itself. I mean, I, I'm giving as much effort that I can to actually. Uh, oh, hello, uh, Hex. And uh, uh, it, for me to actually, you know, it's like try to hype up or actually, you know. Uh, make a podcast it always comes up with like one single or a mood where I can actually you know uh, do a podcast you know like if I wanted to do it every single day you know I don't have enough like the uh, I don't have enough effort I don't have enough uh, motivation or something to actually like do it every single uh, day uh, for me I guess but still you know if you know if uh, one day you know where people wanted me to actually do this you know every single day I would you know I would if <laughs> they give me the support or something you know but still you know it's still hard for me you know I, I keep on uh, looking into the future uh, but not you know try to actually prepare for it you know, it's kind of my thing to do. You can't, <laughs> you can't hear anything. What in the world? 
if I can hear, uh, you can't hear me. Can you? I can still read your text or something, man. I mean, I don't know. It's it's. <laughs> oh my gosh! Can can you actually? Is it me or is it not me? This is this is the thing with uh, doing podcasts like this. I can do my original podcast where I don't record. You know, it would be you know have the effort, and I can just continue uh, doing it. Can you? <laughs> Hello, can you hear me? Okay, so that means it works. No, because it. Uh, you, you you haven't seen my setup. How complicated it is for me to actually record uh, and do the podcast at the same time. So yeah, welcome to the podcast. Your topic was due just now. I uh, already talked about it, and I guess should I repeat it? Should I repeat talking your top about your topic? You know why bad parents have good children and the other way around I mean like should I I mean I've already talked about it so I, I think I can just like move on to the next topic or something what do you want me what do you mean by you do you still want to hear what you want to hear uh, my opinion on why bad parents have good children and the other way around my god I have to you know I have to edit all of this. <laughs> okay, never mind. I'll edit uh, this thing tomorrow. I mean, like it's uh, yeah, it's it's okay for me. So yeah. Ah man, I have to start all over again. I have to like go through the freaking recording, but it's okay. It's fine. It's for it's for the people to hear. So yeah, why not? I can edit things out, and I can just like. Uh, make the best of it and actually uh, you know do uh, do all this thing together and actually come with one masterpiece one final uh, outcome of the uh, of the podcast and just post it just like that but it's it's still hard for me you know I still have like to accept all this somehow you know I mean like I think uh about 90 percent of my effort goes into <laughs> my editing skills so I, I i i'm really going to like just like uh face my computer for like six four or six hours and just edit the whole video and then just come up uh, with one single video maybe it would be like maybe a 15 half hour video or something I have to go through every single second so it's, it's hard for me I mean like uh, I can do my podcast you know away from uh, the discord chat but still you know it wouldn't be fun without uh, you know the people who are actually listening to it you know I can do it all over by just you know twitch streaming but I can only like twitch stream on my phone which I think has better connection than my computer which is I have to like live with it this is like the streaming life sometimes you have like uh, buffers and like uh, lagging or uh, disruption like in the connection or something it's it's fine you know like I can I can still record my uh, audio which I am talking you know but I still want to record you know your voices you know uh, from the voice ch- uh, from the disco voice chat you know I'm still trying to figure out how to do it you know? Woo-wee! <laughs> You seriously? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, you, you, you know? Freaking heck says man, I'm trying to like... I think this this uh, kind of relates to that one meme, you know, like... It's 12am or something, it's like... 
it's 3 a.m. and me and the boys are looking for beans or something, you know? It's like me and the boys looking for beans at 3 a.m. You know, this is happening right now. I mean, like it kind of relates so much. I mean, like no wonder it becomes a meme where you can actually like relate with a lot of people. I think that's 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 like the nature of it. I guess yeah, that is the nature of it. I don't wanna like reviewing memes i think there's like a lot of other youtube channels where actually they review memes or like where some of these memes originated from or something i said no i'm not i'm not doing that you know the best i could do is just like do minecraft videos but even that i still don't know like what kind of like minecraft videos i want to do other than actually doing you know minecraft survival or something so it's I think that's just enough <laughs> I think that's enough for now you know I, I'm still I'm still trying to figure out like what kind of content I want to give out to the people you know other than like a lot of uh, my content is just basically gaming weebu stuff I mean like I could record uh, videos where I actually play off-brand anime games or something you know like i do like a, a couple reviews or something like that and uh, or maybe just like do one poll of like uh what uh top 10 you know best waifus that i uh, love so much or something we're not i think you can <laughs> Ah uh, man, I mean like uh, if you know if people want to know, I mean like uh, Hexes is a is a real salty guy sometimes when when uh, we're playing uh, PUBG or uh, PUBG Mobile together. It's just I'm giving my best efforts to do all these things, but I'm just giving uh, how much I can just give out. I, I think it's like that kind of like trait that I have, you know, like I still wouldn't give up, but I still wouldn't give up just by the small little things <laughs> that just comes in by every single uh, time where there's like some unfortunate thing happens, something like this, you know. I wanted to start a YouTube channel, but I don't have like the setup. This kind of relates to like my uh, my previous names, you know, Stress Boy. So I'm still I'm still the Stress Boy up until to this date. I am still Stress Boy as we speak. This is something that I think you know I shouldn't be uh, uh, worried about or something. You know, I can. I can still move on to other stuff, you know, other than this, you know. My passion mostly just comes to like uh, driving, you know. I mean, like I love driving ever since I was a little kid, you know. And that's the only thing that I could ever remember that I could actually think why I love cars so much, why I love racing so much is because, you know, Maybe the first thing that I saw was actually a car, you know, just like I come out and then just like open my eyes for the first time and then just like What is that thing? It has four round things at the bottom a very smooth looking body and the sound it makes, you know, it's 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 unbelievable Some of it I'm not more into I'm not into like uh, F1 racing that much. I'm not into uh, NASCAR, but I am into like uh, drifting, uh, game racing games. You know, I'm all for it. You know, I mean like I have like Need for Speed Underground too with me. The best Need for Speed that I've played is uh, Need for Speed The Run and it's still the best one. I don't want to like just like say anything else about it because that is the best Need for Speed uh, game that I've played ever. 
and I'm not gonna change my mind and driving of course you know like I have like this driving passion for driving that's a joke wow good nice one me thank you <laughs> the only few cars I have only uh, driven is my mom's car which is I, I drive most of the time you know uh, and a friend's car uh, rented cars it is it's it's the only thing you know like if I actually wanted to give like uh, content to people you know it's mostly that if I have the chance you know for now you know like anything that I can just like share with people I'll share it with people you know the good ones the awkward ones the cringy ones the not so good ones <laughs> I'm not saying that I am like uh, I really wanted to like pursue uh, into this life which is living uh, making a living out of uh, making YouTube videos and streaming but still you know like I still don't you know have like the proper equipment proper uh, application set up or something but we'll <laughs> We'll get it through. I'll go through all of this myself. So yeah, I mean, still uh, I appreciate uh, my friends' support to actually you know uh, make me do this uh, kind of uh, podcast thing. You know? I actually started you know making podcasts just for the Discord chat, only the Discord chat, and that's it. You know, I I I never. Uh, you know, made a podcast publicly for anyone to actually listen to. You know, that's that's why you know I, I only just like figured out. You know, maybe I'll just stay uh, making my podcast in Discord, and that's it. You know, that's the only place I can only do. So maybe maybe I'll just like put like I'll, I'll make like one uh, Discord server uh, for my own and you know for uh, for me to actually do my podcast you know alone and just post that uh, discord link uh, to the world to actually you know see if they wanted to return it basically you know you know that uh, this discord chat will be only filled with really weird topics especially the the the, the unspoken ones <laughs> you, you, you cannot argue about the things and of course there's gonna be like a lot of like uh, bad shit happening there because uh, of the topics that we're gonna talk about before this we we've talked about 18 above related stuff you know I think it's best to just like keep it safe and just keep it off the grid from YouTube or uh, stream uh, streaming application so maybe we just like share it in like a closed podcast or something yeah this course one I mean like kids do those things these days I mean like not just kids mostly gamers so why not discord is for gamers huh? Discord, the only place for gamers to actually chat and text together and play games. What's this? Someone in the house didn't finish the noodles. Kind of, kind of, gro <laughs> it's kind of gross. <laughs> I, I hope it's edible though. Just by the look of it, it's, it's, it doesn't look appealing. But still, I know, I know. <laughs> oh my god! Seriously, I mean like. You, you, you'll find food somehow. I mean like, okay, sure, fine. You, you'll do it, you'll do it. <laughs> oh, man. Been going on through this, uh... Uh, freaking... Dilemma of like, wanting to do what I wanted to do and... It's, it's it's a problem and I think like a lot of people actually have like this kind of problem having like a dilemma of like trying to choose one thing over another you know do they want to pursue on uh, with their dream which is like the obvious you know choice or you know pick on whatever is available and 
your only bet is just that you can actually enjoy whatever whatever's you know whatever you get you know? for now I only enjoy whatever I have you know I only I only enjoy the moments and all the things I have currently right now you know I don't have like uh, the best of everything. I only have like uh, the, the 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 acceptable ones, you know. At least for once, I want a car. Okay, I just want a car, so I can actually drive, you know. And may and I could actually just like make a living out of driving, which is being an Uber driver or something. And it's fine with that, you know. I'm fine with that because basically that is like my my passion to actually drive you know I drive for people I drive people to places they want to go and of course do I want to do that or do I want to do whatever is already given in front of me you know it's 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 a story that I can tell people and people won't believe it because <laughs> It's a mixed up, it's a messed up, it's a messed up life, you know, it's a messed up life. If I wanted to like tell you like the summary of it, you know, like the whole, the whole story of my life. Practically, I'm a guy who has uh, a passion to uh, drive cars, to play racing games, to, uh, you know, make videos and stuff playing minecraft you know that's 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 all i ever wanted or something okay playing games driving maybe just see me uh drive around the corner in my mom's car and i'll just die from there yeah <laughs> but you know even though I have that passion for driving, I'm also taking. <laughs> uh, I'm also studying in culinary arts, which is way different from my passion. I mean, like I have a passion to actually eat, you know, just like enjoy, indulge food and stuff like that. You know, I have a passion for that. I don't have a passion to make uh, to make food. I have a passion to eat. Food. At least it's gonna be over soon. I mean, I'm in like my second last semester, and uh, it's going quite well for me, I guess. After finishing my diploma, I'm just gonna go straight to master, uh, taking my degree in uh, food technology, and of course, there's gonna be a lot of things that is gonna come from there. And of course, one of the things is. I won't be doing like a lot of videos at that time maybe maybe you know maybe I'm just I'm just saying <laughs> that you know like if people wanted me to do more of these videos I would do it you know but if people don't want to I'll just keep on doing what I have, I, I'm supposed to do you know they are uh, people they just want to do whatever they want at the moment they just want to do if they feel like you know smoking a blunt and just you know like that even though they have never tried it you know it's just like okay sure I mean like life is random sometimes you know and it's unfair <laughs> so yeah sure yeah right it's we you just you just don't you just don't know you know sometimes it just go it just comes and goes like that you know where it, you will have like a uh, like a sudden urge to do something you know I can't I think it just relates to me a lot you know like I have like the sudden urge to do like making videos at some point uh, watch uh, watching anime watching off-brand anime. It's just a random thing, you know. I can, I can, I can still tell people this, these stories, these life events that I've gone through, and they won't believe every single one of it, you know. If they, if they've listened to my past stories, they won't believe my other stories, because.
they know it doesn't relate at all you know at one point I'm talking about cars at one point I'm talking about cooking and one point I'm talking about anime I mean like can you please choose one <laughs> can you please choose one single life that you want to pursue in you know maybe I don't know maybe I want to just go all the way and just pursue on one single thing that would benefit most of my life not just like one small percentage but most of my life at least I, I don't I don't know what to say man I mean I don't know what to say hex you know we're like we live in a society okay that's all I can say and and of course we being like the introverts that we are we try to like uh, speak to the world or something that we are a part of that society that we can make better out of it or something but as introverts we stay as introverts you know we, we, we stay inside you know we can only assume whatever's you know uh, happening out there by just looking through a screen or something trusting the media I don't trust the media that much but still you know like sometimes I do sometimes I don't it's 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 still it's still hard for me to actually think about all these things. I mean, like, what what what's the what's the purpose here? <laughs> what's the purpose of like having like uh, uh, a platform where people can actually share uh, their opinions, their creative uh, skills? You know, whether it's visual arts and crafts, uh, dancing, or maybe audio like music, singing, you know, that you, you can basically just like share any of your ideas and people will, you know, just like either adore it or something, they, they, they will get amused by it and then sometimes people will get, yeah, disgusted by it. So. So that the FBI knows who to kill first in case of an emergency, okay, fine. It's hard, you know, for like introverts like us to actually, you know, like speak out to the world to uh, make a difference uh, once in a while. But all we can do is just, you know, uh, <laughs> hope for the best and just see if we can actually, you know, our ideas can actually uh, change people's minds or something it's sometimes it does you know apparently some there are some surprising ideas where like introverts to uh, that actually change the world at some point I guess you know? yes it is hard to make a change to the world I know it's hard to change the world you know to change the world you need to change the people to change the people you need to change your people first and to change your people you have to change yourself if you want to change the world you have to change your world yeah yes that's that's basically it you have to change your world focus on your world first and then you can you know somehow you know change the world yeah, it's 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 hard still. No, no matter what, but still, you 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 shouldn't be, you shouldn't give up uh, to actually uh, do this. Uh, if you can actually pursue uh, doing this kind of thing, you know, if you 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 have like a, a vision uh, to actually change like perspective of people, not the world, but perspective of people. Actually, make a benefit out of it. It's 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 good, you know. It's it's maybe you know may, maybe you can do it. Maybe you have like the potential to actually change the world. I don't care if you're a villain. I don't care if you're a hero. If you can change the world somehow, you would amaze a lot of people. If you're like a villain, that you can actually like create like this mass kind of. Uh, war uh, between countries between 
factions or something i don't know it's it shows that how simple it is for someone to actually change the world and you can start by that basically you know we live in a loop somehow if we can start with one loop uh with one story start to like spark a new one you know and that story will go on with this loop where like you live in like in a society where it's more what the people want you know how we change uh our uh world somehow you know i mean like sure i'm not encouraging people to actually like be the villain okay all i'm saying that you know you can change the world somehow if you have the potential the opportunity maybe you can change so that other people can change the world as well you know it's going to be like one wild roller coaster ride i mean like just imagine okay somehow you know world war 3 is going to start and then dun 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 there's this one hero like that you always see in, in anime in movies it's just like oh there's this one hero that's going to change the world and save it i mean it's like oh i mean like it wouldn't hurt to actually you know try to actually see that story becoming a real thing you know where it kind of changes the uh the history books the world how you would perceive the world as it is you know like even now as we speak all of this you're looking at a, at at a screen at a computer at a phone some people would call this as a fantasy something that is impossible to actually uh live in or something you know back then maybe people don't know how to use computers they they haven't had like the opportunity the the, the technology and they would think all of this would be too good to be true it's all a fantasy just imagine in like 50 years times where like where what we think is fantasy is impossible becomes possible and becomes reality you know like we would say uh robots androids becoming looking and feel like real humans is a fantasy it's 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 fiction uh you cannot make it uh into reality but somehow maybe in a few decades a few centuries if we actually still live on this sacred earth <laughs> we could have like the technology to actually make that happen i mean like there are like a lot of minds out there that actually change the world uh like elon musk uh mark zuckerberg uh steve jobs damn it <laughs> i for- i forgot the guy bill gates <laughs> oh man i forgot his name almost forgot his name they they change the world with their technology just imagine that there's going to be like another inventor who actually invent something making androids more human or uh making uh space exploration much more easier and we can actually just like travel uh to different worlds different dimensions or something this sounds unreal this sounds fake this sounds fantasy like this sounds impossible to actually become reality but if we <laughs> if we can actually hope for the better we put enough effort put enough knowledge work together we can make anything happen basically that's that that's that we're divided into like different countries try try to think why <laughs> you know try to think why we cannot actually explore to other uh, other planets because we're busy you know fighting each other or something we we don't want to like you know work together and then it's like 
let's do space exploration yay i mean like yeah sure i mean like i would want to like travel around the world at least once you know at least before i die you know before i die i wanted to like explore the world or something you know i've made i mean i've been holed up in this one single country for the rest of my life for 20 years i've been living ever since i was a baby i've never stepped foot off this country at all and i feel like that's unfortunate you know i mean like the end is near and i've been only to one single country when you go to the afterlife oh uh where do you come from uh, malaysia uh, have you been to other countries no mm -mm. and i'm not proud of it either you know like me staying in malaysia I mean like I would be more proud that I am Malaysian if I actually like look uh, at other countries how they live in their countries you know so some of them are like countries where I would want to live in you know you know I feel comfortable living there rather than living here in Malaysia but maybe maybe there are still like some countries that would make me feel proud that I'm still Malaysian and just like oh I'm so lucky that I'm living in Malaysia <laughs> I mean like that's that's a bad uh, way to actually say it but still you know I'm, I'm glad I'm Malaysian I'm still I'm, I'm not proud of being Malaysian I don't like being Malaysian you know I rarely even you know speak the language <laughs> I mean like I still know how to speak Malaysian Apa kaba? What's up? Wait, hey, bro. What up? Ada apa apa tak? Apa apa roje? I mean, like, I can still speak Malaysian. I can still understand some of their slangs at least. You know, but still, I'm not proud. You know, I, I don't feel the slightest bit of like having like this feeling that I love being Malaysian at all. No. Most of the foods that I love, they're not Malaysian. The cars, not Malaysian. The things that I use mostly, they're not Malaysian. <laughs> Unless if it's like uh, the house, of course it's Malaysian because it's on Malaysian soil. Haha. <laughs> the musics that I love, mostly are English. I don't listen to Malay songs whatsoever and people judge me by that. <laughs> that I don't listen to Malay songs and I only listen to English songs people judge me by that so fuck off I don't care I don't like Malaysian music that much there are only some some uh, titles where I actually love listening to you know some mus uh, Malaysian songs I actually like okay I don't like most of it I'd rather just like listen to like some aesthetic 90s uh, Japanese uh, jazz song or maybe like some English song or something it's just like that's it <laughs> I don't want anything else than that okay that's the only thing that I want that's the only thing I want okay that's the only thing I want I mean like if I want to call myself Malaysian I am not Malaysian People come and ask me, you know, are you Malaysian? Like purely, truly Malaysian. Like you, ha you have love for Malaysia. You have, you're, you're proud to be Malaysian. No, <laughs> hell no. Uh, not a single bit. I, I, I don't feel it at all. I'm sorry. You know, I don't understand the politics. I hate the economy. <laughs> Uh, I also hate the people as well. <laughs> uh, some are exceptions though. Some are exceptions. Yay! We're at the one hour mark. I don't know if I want to stop it there. Maybe I'll stop in like the next half hour uh, doing this uh, podcast. No. Still, I still want to do like... Uh, like podcasts on the discord while recording but maybe i'll just like keep whatever's in the discord in the discord and i'll just keep whatever's you know 
safe. You know, I'll just I'll I'll just keep the safe topics for YouTube, and I'll just save like the 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 let let's say experimental, you know, experiment topics or topics that are that we're unsure of to actually talk about. You know, I mean, like, I can still I can still like uh, write notes and stuff like that. It's not that I'm too lazy. I can just like focus on this one bit and just neglect my studies you know I, I can still do this you know I can just focus on this one single thing and I don't have to like study or something but still a uh, responsible guy should be independent and actually do what he's supposed to do and not just leave someone hanging or something you know I mean like my family keeps on hope on me, you know, it's like thinking that I can live a better life. I could, if they let me. <laughs> uh, it's just that I'm, I'm, I'm that person who's, who worries too much, who's unsure of things, who, who keeps on just like, you know, having doubts and second choices or something, you know. That's why. That's why sometimes, if you if you notice, I'm I'm like that very cautious guy. You know, like can you hear me? Uh, in in the chat, can you hear me? Uh, can did, did you get my email? Did you get my message? You know, I'll always say these things. You know, because I'm that guy who's unsure, who just worries that you know I don't get the message out or something that people don't get to listen to me when they should when they want to I can give out a message to people I can uh, make my family proud in a way you know but still you know dreams are dreams minds are crushed years ago and I don't have any other dreams left I only have one single dream left and even that I'm trying to like put the pieces back together trying to live that dream of uh, actually driving a car by like some kind of scenery a road I can actually drive on and just like look out and enjoy the enjoy the ride that's my dream that's the only dream that I have left that I can actually believe in that I have hopes for you know I have small hopes for actually living uh, a successful life I have small hopes to actually pursue uh, in my uh, food making career I have zero hopes in my video making career and basically I have zero hopes well yeah zero small hopes for everything except my dream to actually drive into the sunset in a car doesn't matter what car it is if it's an old car that can only run uh, 10 kilometers an hour tops, at least it's a functional car. I'm, I'm that guy, I'm, I'm really that guy who just cannot uh, see anything else other than what's in front of him. You know, I would only expect uh for the uh for the good things but at the same time i still have my doubts <laughs> i mean like i still appreciate the support uh my friends give uh on the net irl and for now at least you know the only support that i can actually have 24-7 is support for myself 
this is this is me you know this is the, the crazy side of me where I actually have to support myself motivate myself if there's no one else to motivate me I have to support I have to motivate myself you know it's it's I don't know if this is a rare personality trait because some of my friends uh, they they would rely on other people to actually help them you know like how Hex uh, wanted to study but he can't study all alone so he needs like a partner in crime or something to actually just like study with with him you know that mo uh, that motivates him to actually study and I can understand that yes you know maybe when you're all alone you don't have like the feel to actually the, the motivation to actually study because you're studying all alone so why not study with a friend you know, I think that would be much better and it is to be honest you know it changes the mood uh, 100% you know, sometimes sometimes we do get off track sometimes you know we would study for like a little bit and then we would just like do whatever we want after that it's 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 still like uh, it's still like some kind of a method for me at least you know if you want to study you can study okay but you you need to know your limit you can't just study uh, you can't just like go all out and just study on one take you know you have to like take a break or something okay you can take a break go get some grub you know get something to eat play play a game or something you know and then maybe you can continue back to studying so basically that's that was basically what I did with uh, Hexes uh, this uh, evening you know uh, we went to the mall uh, we went to like this one very cozy restaurant. <laughs> wow, sounds like a date. And uh, no homo. And uh, we started studying. He showed me like this one file where he wrote all the notes uh, from his classes. And trust me, the first sight of reading it, it will bore the heck out of you. But you know the fact that you know it's mostly like uh, about uh, law and stuff like that I don't know uh, it's still kind of helpful for me I guess you know I read it for my own interest you know, I don't read it because I have to read it I read it because I want it to that's that's how that's another way to actually you know uh, study you know if you want to study you have to have like the the need you, you, you need the urge to actually study you know you want to study you need to study why because you want to not because you know you was you were forced to but because you need to why maybe because of your future maybe you just want to know you know maybe there, there's a lot of there's a lot of you know reasons why you want to study First of all, uh, the, the first would be for your future. That's it. <laughs> Why do you want to study? <laughs> it's for my future, for my career. Basically, that's the first thing that people would say. But to me, I guess, from my heart at least, you know. I study when I want to study, and I only study what I want to study. You know? I don't want to study that what I don't want to study, you know, unless, you know. Like my mom would say, and I guess not just my mom, but most parents would say, you know, like if I wanted to like pursue on video editing or like art stream, straight away they won't agree with me. Straight away. I mean, like, I know. I know you don't want me to actually, you know, draw 
art and video editing because it wouldn't make much money why do I need to care <laughs> I don't care about the money I care about my passion if you don't like my passion for what I like then I'm not your child and you don't deserve to be my parent <laughs> I wish I could say that you know I w I wish I mean like there could be like a point where, where a kid actually say that you know if you don't like what I like then you have no right to actually you know yeah it's just like yeah it kind of happens sometimes like that you know like the, the child runs away and then when like a few time a few moments goes by and then it's like you know what mom yeah you were right yeah it's always like that sometimes kids they need to know and that's why you know we have a very stubborn kids <laughs> you know I would respect my mom I would respect I respect my mom I respect my dad you know but if they don't respect for what I like then you know I have zero hopes <laughs> and basically you know I, I don't know what to say you know it's like it's like my life is dependent on them well basically it is true you know like my life is dependent on them they don't want to waste their money on like me pursuing on a dream that is risky that I won't uh, live I uh, get a living out of it you know and I understand that as, as, as a mature guy I, I can understand that why you know you don't want to waste your money on your kid thinking that you know he's not gonna have a successful life by pursuing on what he likes which is art stream which is kinda not the, sh the, the industry you want your kid wants to be in you want your kid to be in like a much more productive resourceful kind of uh, industry something like mostly associates uh, associated with money and of course it, it's, it's kind of a loop you know that's what people want they want money they, they want to have a, a, a happy life what's what's the point of a happy life if you only want to have money you know you only focus on money you know why can't you focus on other things that, as well <laughs> Uh, I, I think it's just me. Yeah, I think it's just me. Still, you know, trying, trying to, trying, trying to give out a message here. You know? But still, uh, it would backlash every single time. Every single time. And I, and and if people would just say like, you know, like, oh, you should respect your parents even more, or something like that. You, you, you should. You should be grateful you get to study in college or something like that. I mean like, yeah I'm lucky, you know. I'm lucky to actually study. But at least you have the money, some of us don't have the money. Yes, I do have the money. You know, I have the money that I can actually spend on things that I need but I don't want. You know, I can, I can still buy food, you know, that's, that's the only thing that I appreciate buying. But buying stuff for things that I don't want, like an assignment where I have to like purchase like stuff, like uh, send a report. Sometimes we have to like print out these uh, papers and also submit like a CD uh, as well with the file in it so it doesn't get lost or something. You know, and and it. And every single assignment or report would cost at least two ringgit or something. Even though it doesn't cost that much, even though it's like a small number, to me it's like I lost a lot. <laughs> if, if if this ensures my future, then sure, why not? I just have to accept it. Uh, that's why I try to find like other ways that I can actually like uh, have a happy life actually enjoy happy life you know make a living out of something you know, 
that's why sometimes I will do part-time jobs you know and this this is this is a bit kind of a hard thing for me where like my mom okay my, my dad however he's okay uh, actually seeing me you know having a part-time job at a young age my mom on the other hand she she's like you know you don't have to work you know there's no need for you to work I need to <laughs> I need to work damn <laughs> if I could you know I want to work while I'm studying and actually earn a living at least you know every single week every single month so I actually just like oh I have some money in the bank so yeah it's, so I don't think that I'm desperate enough to actually you know find money or something but now I am <laughs> now I am desperate to find money you know not 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 in a way to actually uh, you know from making videos but in a sort of way doing actual work you know I work as a server as a waiter at a hotel you know doing banquets and stuff like that and to me it's natural for actually like you know being there like this is reality you have to work to actually get money you know physical work where you where people can see that you are actually working this is the reality <laughs> at least for me though at least for me but my mom doesn't see it that way you know i mean like you we we can buy you these things really you know if i ask you to buy me a, a better computer would you want to buy one for me you know it's, it's what do you mean by ads in YouTube will disagree with me? What do you mean by that? <laughs> uh, like in what in what uh, topic? In, in in what context? Though? I mean, like I'm I'm on a different context now. I think I know what you're what you're saying, but still, yeah. Um, just, just explain it through the the, the the chat, and I'll read it. So yeah, I mean, like I still want to earn a living, still no matter what so I can just like uh, buy the things that I want for now the first thing that I want to buy at least okay it's not a, it's not a new phone it's not a new computer not 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 a microphone not not a, uh, a, a registered uh, application where I can do sc uh, screen recording the first thing that I would buy is a car okay so I can actually drive and maybe I can actually you know be an uber driver at that point and then I can earn a living by that just just enough <laughs> uh, install now eToro no, uh, nobody YouTube ad thousands of people are making millions of dollars at home install now YouTube basically that's it you know like where, where you see like people like I wouldn't say scam but it looks like a scam either way where people just like uh, this guy makes thousands of uh, dollars by this one uh, by uh, at home with this one method you know just like click on the link and then it's scam it's scam it's scam it's scam i mean like you need to know how you know like how the world works how do these people actually learn a living by just sitting at home you know being a housemaid you know uh working for like some uh developer from like google or youtube or something no. Yeah, find out how this old lady. Yeah, see, <laughs> it's just like seriously stop. 
you're, you're, you're making people like confused here and, and just like it's impossible to actually make a living by just staying at home I mean like there is a way there's always a way okay maybe I want to like make a patreon or something maybe I want to start making a patreon where people can donate money or something but you know it's it's like I'm hitting a wall right now. Like I have like there's like no like I'm I'm hitting rock bottom like an end here that there's no point of like pursuing or going forward at this point. You know? I could, you know? You know, I can see all the possibilities. I can continue making videos. You know, I can continue making uh, original uh, appropriate content I can you know start a, a patreon thingy uh, I, I can I can still do it you know but do I want to pursue it that's that's the that's the thing you know all I just need to do is click one single link you know it's it's not that much effort it's just that do i really want to pursue it that's all maybe i'll start okay maybe i'll start you know making like a patreon account or something or it, something like that a donation platform or whatever and then just like do you want to donate sure i mean like if you want to see me do more content you know something like all brand anime games or something like that you know you can either join my discord chat or donate to me uh, my patreon or whatsoever yeah. it's it's I'm, I've, I'm having a I'm having a negative kind of point of view by uh, at this point you know but still I, I'm I'm still grateful that people actually support me at this point. You know, I, I'm still grateful. You know, to actually have friends, people that actually support my podcast, uh, what I do. You know, it doesn't matter what I do, and they they actually love seeing me doing the things I love. You know, going to anime conventions with them. Yes, <laughs> I wish I can do that now. Reviewing, you know, making videos at anime conventions. Basic, that's gonna be in the in the in the channel. That's gonna be in the in my YouTube channel. Okay, twenty uh, fifth December or something. Somewhere in December, like uh, late December, I'm gonna uh, post a video of me at an uh, anime convention. Uh, Hex is gonna Hex will probably be there i guess i'm not sure i can't confirm because last year he wasn't he didn't go to the anime convention and it was basically me and some other few people and that was last year yeah that was last year and it was at that pewdiepie subscribe to pewdiepie movement kind of uh, time so there's like a lot of people just like screaming uh, subscribe to PewDiePie and I think I'm the only one who's at, who's actually screaming you know say, subscribe to PewDiePie and seriously like if I actually recorded that video where like I'm supporting PewDiePie just by screaming subscribe to PewDiePie and just like seeing like all these other supporters like uh, one guy with like uh, this boombox playing uh, this this portable speaker playing bitch lasagna and and uh, yeah and this one guy make made a banner uh, for uh, subscribe to PewDiePie and of course that movement didn't you know go uh, that long and of course yeah T series uh, past PewDiePie and yeah it 
we we we've come a long way, you know. We've come a long way from like uh, making, changing like points of uh, views of like uh, like people trying to choose a side, either to actually uh, support individual uh, independent. Co- uh, Content creators like PewDiePie or companies like uh, T Series, but to be fair, you know PewDiePie is still the number one uh, 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 YouTube channel in the world. Until this day, he's still the the most subscribed, the best. Know, youtuber in the world you know only just uh, you know fighting against T-Series I guess it, it wouldn't be much of a deal you know since T-Series is one company one big company with a lot of uh, content creators and PewDiePie is just one <laughs> with just a few video editors like uh, Brad and Sai, so you, you could see the point where it's like where people had to go a long, long way to be uh, the best at some point. You know? I mean, like, that's a motivation for you, I guess. <laughs> that's a motivation for you. That you can actually dream big and do bigger things. Now I just like dream of driving a car and that's it. <laughs> that's all of it. You know? I mean like yeah, that's that's basically it. I'm gonna like uh, live my life trying to buy a car, driving into the sunset and then die instantly and then not coming back again whatsoever, not doing videos, not not making food, just like completely just like driving into the sunset and then straight into a wall and then burst into flames and then I, I'll die. It's not the most heroic, not the most grateful way to actually die, but at least I died in you know in a in my own passion. <laughs> oh he died in a glorious way he had so much passion at killing himself with the only thing that he loves driving so beautiful so beautiful i mean like it is it's kind of poetic as well <laughs> it's very poetic oh my god i guess i guess that's it ah. And this, uh, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll end the podcast right there. I'll, I'll end the recording, but uh, keep the current scheme. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll keep the recording, uh, but maybe I'll just like continue a bit of the podcast until like two thirty or something. Just because I want to talk. That's it. No, I don't want to talk about this depressing shit. But yeah. So to anyone out there, goodbye. Thank you for joining my podcast video whatsoever. After this, I'm gonna go straight just to record normal podcast and not having this Discord podcasting. And if you wanna join any of my Discord voice chat podcast. Uh, link is in the description you can uh, join the discord server and we can talk about anything okay? anything you want anything you want from anything that's practically not acceptable by the general society or to something more personal you know? uh, it's that's why it's closed <laughs> it's closed so it's much more better that way you know Maybe one to one, maybe in groups. It's much better that way, you know. I'm just, I'm just, a, I'm just the middleman. I'm just the guy who just, you know, wants to share my opinion to the world. That's it. Good, bye.
podcast, at least for the YouTube one. Boom.